That's what she does to get attention and affection and all of that. Just come over and just try to make you do it. That's what she does to get free time on a walk and try to make you do it. So she's offering, offering. What do I do? What do I do? Now she's thinking a little bit more. So to start with, since this is your first time doing it, I'm going to work it once she stops doing all of this. Yes. But in life, she comes up and does this, and yeah. you look at her. In life, she comes up and does this, and you better. So that's why she's so locked into this. Yes. Oh my God. I'm just gonna slowly move my way towards. You see, now she's doing a little bit less of the push. She's still doing it because she she's in a pattern, right? Yes. But then. She's like, okay, a little bit, doesn't work. Let me try what I got paid for last time. Eventually, he'll drop his hand like that and she'll move back first. Yes. Good, so she now you see she's on her way to sit. So how can we apply this to... You know? So you do this for her meals her, yeah. or like like two or three times a day, four minutes, five minutes tops. You Just work this? Yep. You pick a behavior. I'm working on down today. I'm working on sit today. I'm working on place today. I'm working on her going to yes. crate. You know, and then you lock into doing that and you literally do what he's doing until she either gets closer to offering that behavior or she offers it. And then literally what you'll see is yes. in her life, she'll move to like, let me try this. That doesn't work. All right, let me try this. Oh, that worked. Okay. Like literally, I'm gonna send this a video. I'm gonna send you. Yes. Uh, Carol is a cane corso puppy. He told me like, yeah, when I feed her, I want her to go over to the carpet and lay down. I'm, I'm like, what does she do now? He's like, well, I have to walk her every time to do it. Look. Yes. Good girl. See? They know how to do everything already. Mm -hmm. We just reward them for the wrong shit all the time. Yeah. So like, let's say we want to. I mean, she already knows down, but, mm -hmm. or like, could we apply this to like, make sure that she doesn't jump like on the, like she doesn't counter serve? There, I would have a leash on her. I would walk over to the counter put something she wants on there. She jumps and then I would pop it. Oh, okay. And then I would give her a boundary away from the kitchen. Okay, so let's say we want her to like do down or something. Like when would you say down? I would say down once every time he drops his hand like this, she offers down. Okay. So I definitely wouldn't say it now because then down will mean this, yeah. right? I would do like, Two sessions of this, by the end of the second session, she'd be laying down fast every time. In the third session, I would name it. She thinks she's not smart yet. But when I want, when dog, good yes. girl. Good girl. When dogs do this, she's telling me her story. She's telling me she gets rewarded for being pushy. That's her story, you know? Some dogs, they start barking. That's all he, he barks at you. Yeah, all the time. You get, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But the more you do this, the more she learns, all right, me being pushy is not going to work. Let me try to lay down first and get paid for that. And then what you'll see in life is these, these three sessions that you're doing with her every single day, when she wants your attention, she's going to lay down. Now you just got to remember to reward her for that. Yeah, it's like in the elevator. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of time what happens when you get a puppy is like, when they're being annoying, you give them attention. Mm -hmm. When they're being calm, you stay away from them. You gotta flip it. When they're being calm, I'm gonna reward you. That's what I want. I'm gonna reward that. When you're being annoying, I'm gonna correct you and tell you to be calm, and then I'll reward you, okay? All right, you do some of that with them. Okay. You got it? It's gonna suck at first, but she's gonna be clawing you, and yeah. really gonna be clawing you. I know, we need to trim her nails, sorry about that. But even you can use free shaping, you can get a nail pad. Oh, yeah? Right now, she scratches the nail pad, you reward her. So, like, you can teach the dog free shaping. You can teach the dog to retrieve stuff with free shaping. Like, literally, you just wait it out until the dog offers. Keep waiting. Yeah, but, they, but um, yes, okay. say yes when she does it. Okay. And then you drop the treat. Okay. So, say yes first. Why well, yes would be your reward marker? Say yes. Yes. And then drop it. Beautiful. And let's say you want to pay her in place. When she lays down, you say good, and you give it to her face. Good, give it to her face. And yes, and then pay her out of place. Yes. Beautiful. If we have like a nail um, board, 
how would that, how could we apply that here? So like you put a nail board on the ground. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, I'll tell you that at the end. I'm just talking on that first. She's doing good. You don't even have to stretch your arm out so far. You have to leave it right there. Yes. Awesome. Now this time, boom, she lays down. Good. Give her a tree in place. Good. Give her a tree in place. Yes. Now have her get up and go get it. So say good. Good. Give it to her. Yep. Now go get a different one. Say good. Give it to her. Good. Boom. One more time. Say good. Give it to her. Good. Boom. Now say yes and put it on the floor. She can get up. Yes. Boom. So good means good job. Keep it up. Good job, keep it up. Yes means you did it, come to pay. Okay. So that's how you get rid of the, where's my food? Because later on, good will just be a bridge where she'll lay down and you'll say good and she'll hold it. So like now, say good, don't give it to her. Good. Say it again. Oh. Say good again, don't give it to her though. Good. Say it again. Good. Now say yes and drop it over there. Yes. Boom. So now you're teaching her your language. Mm -hmm. Good means I like it, keep it up. Yes means I love it, come get paid. So now you're walking, she's doing good. You said good, and she's like, oh, I know what that means. That means keep doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you say yes, and then you reward her. She's like, oh, I got paid for doing that. And you can do it standing up too. Yeah. Look, you see how fast she offered it now? Yeah, good. Yeah. You have to give it to her now. You decide when you want to pay her in place or when you want to just say it and not pay her. Yes? Yep. Yes. Boom. And then when you say yes, you can just say yes and have her come get it from your hand. Okay. Okay. Keep waiting. Good. You want her to sit now? Oh. There okay. you go. Good. Yes. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, yep. So how, how I would initiate it, you ready to work? And then we go on working, and then she works for four minutes, and I'll say, all done, and then I end it. Okay. Good. Yes. So, so now it's like, all done. All done. Cool, and then you just end it. And then literally, what, like now, she's not going to get it. You, you can take the trees out and put them out. Yeah. But when you start doing this more, you'll say, all done, and she'll, it'll literally be like, Ew, and she'll turn off. Okay? Yeah. Um, so free shaping, you see that? You don't have to tell her to do anything, just wait it out, she'll offer it, right? There, you saw she went back to being pushy, right? You just ignore her, and then she'll probably lay down now. And then when she lays down, then you pet her. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, free shaming is going to challenge her mentally. She got to think about what to do, right? It's going to teach her that all those behaviors that she does to be pushy doesn't get her rewarded. So it's going to make those behaviors extinct, right? And then it's also going to... Um, so there's like a main point. Oh, I'll say this. So we could have lured her, right? We could have used a leash tension to pull her down. There are all different methods of like getting her. There's three that we use, right? Free shaping is the one where it's like, all right, dog, you make a decision, you know? Because we want them to be able to like uh, make that decision by themselves and then make the right decision and then get rewarded. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to open that door and her to decide, I'm going to wait. Good. And then we go through, you know, so you use these little drills to teach her that mindset, teach her how to use her mind like that. And then you will start seeing in the world, she's going to start thinking like that. Like, oh, I'm going to meet this person. Let me try this. Good girl. Go say hi. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you have your leash there to back it up when she's not doing what you want her to do. But the goal is to like, not even need your leash, you know, and her to just have the mindset of, of what you put in her. You know what I'm saying? And then and then when you do use your leash, you just want to know how to be clear with that, how to correct her clearly, how to direct her clearly, how to make her get on one side, switch to the other side, free all the way, her to just be used to all that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um, but yeah, like free shipping would be like my number one game that I play with her. Oh, she's she has interesting paws. She has the- Do you call that? Yeah. Yeah, because wow. she's Pyrenees. There's not one though. It's most like Pyrenees often have the duplex. That's crazy. But they only have it on two. Kemper has that too. Yeah, she right. only has it on one. Yeah. On one. yeah. I've never seen that. They like offered to take it off of her. Yeah. In case it like got. Dude, I've never seen that before. I always have seen two, uh, two on the back. No, but I've never just seen one. one. 
So she's definitely a mix. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, does that make sense? It does, yeah. Um, and then bouncing back to the scratch pad, so like, oh yeah. Um, I would have it. Maybe I would like hold it here. Boom, and I would have my food, and then she like the, for see, give her love. But in her mind, she was like, what do I do to make this lady pay attention to me? Yeah. Outside, it was pick up a stick. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And here now, it's lay down. Yeah. Before, it was jump on her or push out her hand. Or, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I would have the scratch pad. Um, and then when you're doing it, like how Damien started with this, you just pay for small increments. So he paid her for leaving his hand alone, then backing up, then sitting, then laying down. Right? For the scratch pad, I would have it here. She would look at it. Yes, pay her. Look at it. Yes, pay her. Look at it. Yes, pay her. Now she would look at it, and I wouldn't pay her. And she'd be like, "Man, there's something with that, but it's not looking at me anymore. Let me try poking it with my nose." Yes, pay her. Right? Then build it up. All right, now she's poking with her nose. That's not being me paid. Then she might go to claw at it. Yes, boom. Claw at it. Yes, boom. Oh, wow. Now claw at it two yeah. times. Yes, boom. Now three times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and same with a bottle or a ball. Right? Ball on the floor, on the food. Or hold the ball like how I did the Kila with retrieve. I had the object in my hand, and literally she would sniff it, reward, sniff it, reward. Then I stopped rewarding her for sniffing, and then she would literally like push it, reward, push it, reward. Then I stopped rewarding her for her pushing it, and she just got so frustrated that she put her mouth on it. Yes, reward. You know, and then I just built it up to now. All right, now I'll drop the item right here. Hold her collar, hold her, let her go. And she fly over, pick it up, bring it back to me, and then I will reward her all the way at the end now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so free shaving is like dog training's best secret. Wow, for real, yeah. For real. It's, it's amazing. But that's the part where they say dog training takes patience. Because, like, you will have times where, like, where, like, I'm, like, where, where tree for Aquila, it took me seven sessions to get her to, like, the end goal of getting the item and bringing it back to me. And the first session, the first session was easy. The getting her to put her mouth on it was the hard part. Cause like, she just literally has to get frustrated enough to be like, fuck it, I want this, you know? And then I rewarded her for that. And literally in her mind, it was like, whoa, I get rewarded for putting my mouth on it. And then she just started, kept getting rewarded. Now you get rewarded for holding it. Now I'm not gonna pay you just for putting your mouth on it. I'm gonna pay you for taking it from me. Now holding it, now I'm bringing it to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really cool. Um, and, and I find that for the basics, like do it for the basics, what you'll see is her mindset's gonna change. She's gonna stop coming over. Like even this, right? That's her soliciting. And so that's what she does in the past. Like when she comes over and she, you feel her little nose poke your leg and she's up here and she's at your hand and you do this, she's like, yeah, that's what I did to get reward from this lady. You get what I'm saying? But you, and all you do though is just keep that in mind. And then you, the one of them times you don't, you mm -hmm. just ignore her. Then once you once you do free shaving place with her, she'll offer that, won't get paid, she'll go over and lay on her bed. Good girl, we'll go lay with her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now the next time she'll come over, it's not gonna work. Let me go lay down. Then you, now you just have to remember to reward her for that versus rewarding her for being pokey and pushy. Okay? Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. But it's like you'll start to realize she's in that mode her whole life since you met her. Yeah. She's been offering a behavior to get a reward. And so now you just get in front of it. You know, so like for Carol, that puppy I was telling you about, we, we dropped the kibble in the bowl. She ate it. I told him to pick the bowl up. He picked it up. I said, just wait there. And, she, and he waited. She looked at him like, what are, you, what are we doing? What are you doing? And out of nowhere, she turns around, walks to the carpet, and lays down. And I say, say yes. He said yes. She flies back over. He drops her kibble. By the end of that lesson, once she ate the kibble, she'd be done. She'd literally eat the kibble right here. Walk away. Stop right here. Walk away. Third, second stop. Then she'd go to the carpet. Then he said yes, and she'd come back. And so she just remembered, all right, with that leash, she was making me do this. Let me try that. And then without a leash now, she was walking as, uh, further than where she's at now laying down and getting rewarded for it, okay? So free shaping is that was amazing, 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 and then it'll make her super tired because she's in her mind so much, okay? Yeah. So focus will be walks, 
the drills, which I've seen videos of. Did you sign up to be a pack member? I think I just signed up for this one class. I'm going to send you a link to sign up to be a pack member. Okay. Um, because then I can send you, like, a link that will have, like, like let's say down. It will have three sessions of me teaching your dog down so you can see it from beginning to end. Okay. Like, when I name it and stuff. Um, so, uh, walking. And if you want, you can add the free shaving drills with her. Like I said, keep them under, like, five minutes so that the next time you do it, she wants more of it. Yeah. Um, and, and just enjoy it. Yeah, give her some love. Good girl. So there she skipped the whole coming over and being pushy. Mm -hmm. She yeah, thought about good. it though. That was great. You're a good girl. Oh, hmm. burp. <laughs> so no <laughs> girl treats. <laughs> Coolio. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do next next week same time. Yeah, I think that works. Um, yeah, I think it works. If it doesn't, I'll text you. But I'm pretty sure it works. Awesome. Cool. So I'll schedule that, and then um, I'll send you this. I'll send you. Um, I'll send you this video. I'll send you a link to the martingale collar. Yes. And then um, that should be it. Yeah. And then I'll be checking in and see how she's doing. Yeah. You're a good girl. You did well today. Yeah, she did a good job. Yeah. Do you find that this job makes you more patient, like with people and in your like personal life? Too? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I got a two-year-old and a one-year-old at the house, oh. and I applied all this to them. I mean, I like, bet. Yeah. It's, it's really like. It's, it's easier to train them. It's crazy to say train, but it's easier because they, like, have minds and they can, like, process it a little bit easier than dogs. But, like, like I could be in my house and I could, like, tell Freedom how right, don't walk by there. And he'll wait, you know, whereas, like, my wife, like, she, sometimes she does it, sometimes she doesn't. So you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of that, too. Like, whoever implements this, she'll look at to as a leader. Whoever doesn't, she'll try to walk over. But yeah. only like a little bit of it will be because that person is not doesn't know how to hold her accountable. Another part of it will be she knows that they don't know how to hold them or hold her accountable. You get me? So like, yeah. when your mom comes over, like you're gonna have to be like me for your mom, like our mom, working on some training. If she jumps, I'm gonna correct her. When she's calm, I want you to pet her there. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we'll get into like your mom because then does your mom come and sit on the couch and now Zelda's all over her? So we'll yeah. get into like giving her structure and boundaries mm -hmm. away from yeah. people and stuff like that. Yeah. But like, like I said, all like you said, Tara, she is now. And for me, I get the dogs like this. Like I, we're going on a walk. I'm gonna stimulate you physically and mentally on a walk. We're coming in. I'm gonna work you for your food. Once you laid out, because you're so tired, I'm coming over here and cuddling with you. That's what I want you to do in my house. I don't want you to be coming over, making me interact with you. I don't want you to be whining at me for attention. I don't want you to be calm. And when you're calm, I reward you for that. She, she like, nah, I'm not calm. Play with this ball. <laughs> cool. Okay, so she likes fetch. Yeah. She brings it back to she you. She loves the park. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's okay at it. Sometimes she does. So we'll work on that. Sometimes she likes Just to play a game, you know. Two balls in this hallway, two of two them balls, same ball. I might have one. Um, like there, right? Try to get it. She's like, no, you come get it, all right? Um, versus for me, I don't get it. Um, versus for me, like when she gets that, she's trying to put it under the couch and she, when she gets it, I do have one, I do have one, oh, it's different, oh, uh, what is that next time? Yeah. But yeah, so, so toss it, she gets it, bounce the other, oh. she'll bring it back, but she'll still hold it in her mouth, yeah. but she'll want the other, so she'll spit it out, and then you say yes, and you throw her the other one, and you yeah. pick the one she dropped up, okay. and then you just put her into that sequence. Yeah, I brought you a gift, how'd you know? Here. Oh my goodness! Do you like it? Oh my gosh! Yeah, here you go. Thank you! That is so nice! So that is called Happy Howie's. Okay. It comes as a big meat roll, obviously. And then what I'll do is I'll slice it.